Welcome to our very recording. <laughs> Welcome to our first employee benefits information session for the plan year 2022. Um, I am so glad that you guys are able to join us today so that we can talk about um, what's changing and all of the, um, the benefits of the Mecklenburg County's benefit program. My name is Wanda Caldwell and I am the HR Benefits Manager. Assisting me today is Maria Martin, the Benefits Consultant, and Madison Little, who will be serving as our Zoom producer and moderator. So um, Madison, I will turn it over to you to say a few words. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Um, I will be pretty much in the background. Um, if you have any questions throughout the chat, or throughout the session, please put those questions within the chat box and I will ask your questions at the appropriate time. Um, we will have some Q&A throughout the presentation as well. So um, feel free to write any questions in the chat or come off mute um, at the appropriate time. Great, thanks Madison. And I'm also happy to inform you guys that we have representatives from our insurance carriers today. Some will be presenting and all will be available for your questions to answer any questions that you might have. So I'd like to take a minute to introduce them. From Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina, we have Ms. Jasmine Walden. From CVS, Sarah Vaca. From Cigna Dental, Beth Barnes. And from IMED, Brian Boost. And from Marathon Health, we have Jenna Ewing. We have a lot of important information to share with you today, but before we get started, I must inform you that this presentation is being recorded. And as always, you know, we are very um, protected of your information um, and, and we'd like to remain um, in that stance so that even though you guys can ask questions, I just want to remind you that um, or to please keep your questions in general and in nature so that we are not violating any privacy, HIPAA, any type of um, regulations like that. And again, the presentation is being recorded. Um, the recording sessions will be on Mech Web within 24 to 4, 48 hours at the end of each presentation in case you missed some part of it. We want you to feel that this meeting is about you. So please, please feel free to ask any questions to, uh, to us or the presenter. So let's begin today by going over a few, uh, reviewing a few of the topics that we'll be discussing. We'll be talking about changes for 2022, medical options, dental and vision options, pre-tax options, marathon health, and of course, voluntary benefits. And as I mentioned, we will hear from our vendors to help with help you better understand the, um, your options and answer your questions. And this is just a reminder regarding your questions. Again, I just ask that you please, please compose your questions in a generic or general form and refrain from giving out any personal or private information. However, if we are unable to answer your, your questions during this presentation due to time constraint or, con or content, you can reach out to the respective insurance carrier or the county's employee services center at 704-432-6947 for more assistance. So what's changing in 2022? Both of our medical plans, the PPO and the high deductible health plan with a health savings account are increasing the coinsurance from 25% to 30%. Remember the coinsurance is the sharing of costs by the employer and you, the member. Teladoc is the new telehealth service that is provided with, um, by Blue, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. 
pharmacies coinsurance is also increasing from 25% to 30%. And the county's contribution to the high deductible health plan with the health savings account will be $500 for individual coverage and $1,000 for family coverage. January 1st of 2022, IMED will be administering the county's vision plan. Currently, we have United Healthcare for those of you who may not know, but come January 1, IMED will be our new partner. We are slightly increasing the medical, dental, and vision rates. And within our voluntary benefits, the only change is that the critical illness plan is now going to be called critical care. So let's talk about the medical plans. Mecklenburg County has two medical plan choices for employees. There is the traditional what we, um, preferred provider organization what we call as the PPO plan. And then there's the high deductible health plan with the health savings account. Short acronym is HDHP um, slash HSA, but that's the high deductible health plan that has a health savings account associated with it. There's not a one plan better than the other plan. I'll go into more detail about both plans in the next couple slides. So what does the high deductible health plan with the health savings account offer? Well, it does have a higher deductible, but lower premiums, coinsurance, and it has a health savings account that is a tax advantage savings account. The county contributes to the health savings account. Internally, we refer to this sometime as the county C. For 2022, Mecklenburg County will contribute $500 for individual coverage and $1,000 for family coverage. You, the employee, can also make contributions via your payroll deduction into this savings account up to the IRS maximum limit. The annual maximum limit for 2022 is $36.50. $3,650 for individual coverage and $7,300 for family coverage. And if you are over the age of 55, you can con contribute an additional $1,000. Remember, an HSA or the health savings account can be used to pay for your out of pocket medical expenses, prescriptions, co pays, and the deductible. The nice thing about the health savings account is that you can roll over any unused funds at the end of the year, roll over to the next year. Now let's talk about the preferred provider organization or the PPO as we refer to it as. For employees that were hired prior to January 1 of 2017, you can choose to elect the high deductible health plan or the PPO plan. With the PPO plan, you have, of course, a lower deductible, a higher premium, the option to participate in the healthcare flexible spending account, the FSA, healthcare FSA, which is also a tax advantage account. And with the PPO plan, you have a copay and coinsurance. As I said, the flexible spending accounts are tax advantage benefits. At the county, we have a health care FSA, a dependent care FSA, a commuter reimbursement FSA. You can only elect the healthcare FSA with a PPO plan, or if you have coverage with your spouse or 
somewhere else, you can opt out of the county's medical program altogether. If you opt out, then you are eligible to participate in one of the uh, in the healthcare flexible spending account plan. A few things that you should know about the county's FSA plan. With the healthcare FSA, funds are front loaded at the beginning of the year and your employee contributions are deducted from each paycheck. More importantly to remember is that any unused funds in the healthcare FSA at the end of the calendar year is forfeited. It is a use it or use it plan. However, there's a caveat here. IRS guidelines are subject to change. With the dependent care FSA, it can be used to pay for daycare expenses for dependents under the age of 13 and adult daycare. The funds are not front loaded and you cannot carry over or roll over any unused funds at the end of the plan year. With the commuter reimbursement FSA, you can use reimbursements or be, be, be reimbursed for um, bus passes, light rails or van pool expenses. Rollovers for the commuter reimbursement plan are allowed from year to year. So that's quite a lot that I've shared so far. Are there any questions? Madison, do we have any questions in the chat? Hey, Wanda, yes, we have two questions. Um, the first question is, why did our HSA seed decrease this year? That's a very good question. Um, every year we go through a budget process. Okay, as you know, we are um, to be good um, stewards of taxpayers' dollars and the county has a budget. So there's no guarantee that the seed that the county contributes will be the same from year to year. Um, the last couple of years, it was a little higher. The first year, you know, it was fairly new and the county manager was, was uh, really trying to encourage in, um, enrollment and engagement. Um, but it, it really all depends on the county's budget. We have a, uh, a annual, claims budget of over $100 million that the county has to pay because we're self-insured. So it's, it's a budget decision that occurs every year. I hope that helps. Our next question was regarding the coinsurance. Um, the participant wanted to know um, about the 30%. Does that mean that she will have to pay 30%? Yes, that the coinsurance is a shared expense, okay? So once you've met the deductible, the coinsurance kicks in. That means that when I say shared, that the member pays part of it and the, the employer pays part. So the county pays part and you pay part. Your part, the employee, is 30% and the county's part would be the other 70% of that medical expense. Okay. Our next question is, can HSA or can the HSA card pay for medical expenses for family if um, the family member or members is not covered on medical coverage? If that family member is deemed an IRS dependent, then yes. So that, that, that member does not have to be enrolled in our medical plan, but it does have to be considered a qualified RRS dependent. Our next question, if you choose the HSA slash high deductible health plan for upcoming enrollment, do you have the option to revert back to PPO if hired before 2017, the next enrollment year? If you are within that, um, eligibility requirement and you were hired prior to January 1, 2017, you do have that option to revert 
from year to year um, the, between the PPO and the HSA or the high deductible plan, um, provided that you know nothing else has changed, meaning that we offer, still offer a PPO provider plan. Okay, our next question, can the HSA card pay for expenses for the prior year or does it have to be used for expenses occurred in the current year? That's a very good question. No, you do, you do not, you're not restricted to pay for the expenses, expenses incurred within a particular year. Our next question um, is in regards to IMED. Um, IMED will be our new vision carrier for, let's see, IMED will be our new vision carrier, but will Spectera still be the insurer, just like how it was with United Health Care Vision for 2021? IMED is a new carrier. So um, I haven't heard that Spectera brand in a long, long time, but um, IMED is our new vision carrier come January 1 of this year. And if that doesn't quite answer your question, you will definitely have an opportunity to, uh, to ask it again, and maybe Brian can expand on it a little more than I, than I just did. So um, if I did not answer your question, I do apologize, but you have an opportunity to ask that again with Brian. Our next question, will the HSA seed for employee and or spouse be 750? The HSA seed for individual coverage, meaning employee only is $500. For family, and that includes whether it's you and a spouse, you and your children, is $1,000. Okay. Our next question, can you have both the FSA and the HSA? No, man. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, you cannot. Um, if you are participating in the high deductible health plan, in our case, we have a high deductible health plan and with a health savings account, you cannot participate in the health care flexible spending account, flex, flexible spending account plan. You can for the dependent care and the community reimbursement, but not for the health care flex spending account. Okay, our next question, can you use the HSA funds for orthodontics care? Yes, <laughs> any qualified medical expense, yes. So Madison, we have a lot of questions right now. Um, can we pause here and, and maybe um, pick up with that later? Cause I don't want to uh, take up too much time. I like, to, yeah, so just, you know, we're going to pause here. We're going to get to all, all of your questions. Um, there may be some questions that we could answer as we go through the slides. Um, so let's just uh, continue with the presentation with our representative from Blue Cross Blue Shield. So at, at, so at this time, I'm going to turn it over to ja Jasmine Walden with Blue Cross to provide additional information on how you can better utilize your medical plan. Jasmine, do I need to stop sharing? Good morning, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, Ms. Wanda, are you able to see my screen? I am. Okay, thank you, and good morning, everyone. And welcome to this presentation about your health benefits offered to you by Mecklenburg County Government and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Today, I will spend a few minutes highlighting some things you should know to get the most from your health plan. You can save money by visiting doctors who are in the Blue Options Network. To find out if your doctor is in the Blue Options Network of providers, just call us at the number on the back of your health insurance ID card, or you can go to blueconnectnc.com 
and use our Find a Doctor tool. Anyone can find basic information about our in-network doctors. But if you're looking for more details, you'll want to log in. And you will see here is highlighting the find a doctor drug facility section where you go to locate your doctor. If you're wanting to log in, you would use the Blue Connect member login using your user ID and password that you select. When you log in, you will see this home page. Just click on find care to get the information you need. As a part of your preventative care services, you can see an in-network nutritionist 10 times per year for no charge. These experts can help you start good food habits, create healthy budget-friendly menus, and know what to eat if you have a health problem. And again, that's 10 times per year for no charge. And as you get the care you need, you can have your health plan information right in the palm of your hand. Introducing our Blue Connect mobile app lets you securely connect to your Blue Cross of North Carolina health plan whenever you want. You're able to get your digital ID card, view your claims, or track your benefits, deductible, or out-of-pocket expenses. You can also call customer service or send a message through the app. There's a fingerprint or touch ID sign in is available on certain devices. And everything on the mobile app is also available in Spanish. Blue Connect Mobile is free for Blue Cross of North Carolina members. It's available on the App Store or Google Play. And again, you're able to get your digital ID card, view your claims, see a summary of your benefits, track your deductible expenses, call, message customer service, use fingerprint touch ID to sign in, and also view this information in Spanish. You can save money with our Blue 365 discount. Our Blue 365 program can help you save money while you stay healthy. Blue 365 offers discounts on healthy products and services. Everything from gym memberships to nutritional programs to laser eye surgery. When you sign up, you will get special weekly deals from well-known companies delivered right to your email inbox. First, from sports gear to personal care, you always find healthy savings with Blue 365. Joining is easy. You would just visit the Blue 365 website to get started. As Ms. Wanda introduced earlier, Teladoc um, will be available to you. So your telehealth services will now be with Teladoc. You can chat with a doctor on your smartphone, PC, or a tablet. With telehealth, you visit a doctor without going to a doctor's office. It's a great option if you have a minor health problem or behavior health problem and can't see your regular doctor. It's often more convenient and often costs less than going to an urgent care. And telehealth, I'm sorry, teledoc is available 24 seven. With telehealth by teledoc, you can talk with a board certified doctor by secure online video 24 hours a day seven days a week. The whole visit takes place through your Teladoc app or your computer. 
the doctor can even prescribe medicine and send the prescription to your local pharmacy. If you choose the PPO copay plan, you will pay $25 per teledoc visit. If you choose the HSA plan, you will pay 30% after you meet your deductible. You may use your HSA card to pay for telehealth visits. Teladoc can handle many non-emergent health problems like asthma, cough, cold and flu, sinus problems, sore throat, those are just to name a few. At home, at work, or traveling, you can use Teladoc just about anywhere, any time of day or night. Sometimes life can be too much to handle. Situations like stress at work, changes at home, or the loss of a loved one can make you feel like you've, you've got nowhere to turn. You do. With Teladoc, you can also have access to licensed mental health professionals who can help you deal with stress, depression, anxiety, and more. Plus, you have the option to choose a telephone or video consult based on your comfort level. You would call Teladoc to make an appointment for your behavior health consultation. You can get started on January 1st. There are two ways to get started with telehealth with Teladoc. Just download the Teladoc app or visit us online or call. Go ahead and activate your account after January 1st, so when you need telehealth, you'll be ready. Thank you. Also, any of the information that we provided or if you have questions regarding the benefits or looking for a doctor, you are also able to contact the open enrollment question line at 877-224 3305. And at this time, Ms. Wanda, I would like to stop to see if we have any questions regarding the information that was shared. We did have a few questions um, within the chat. Let's see if I can scroll up. Um, is Blue 365 discount something that we have access to this year as well as um, for those enrolled in the current plan? Yes, I do believe that you have access to Blue 365. Ms. Wanda, can you confirm that? I believe you're on mute, Ms. Wanda. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, we do. Thank you. Yes, Blue 365 is an option that's available for you today. And if you have access to Blue Connect MC, you can also um, use the app to register there as well, or just by simply visiting the Blue 365 website. Okay. And we had one participant ask if the Blue 365 site can be posted in the chat. Is that something that we can do after the presentation? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, let's see, I believe that is it for your presentation. If not, we will have um, Q&A at the end. Okay. Oh, let's see, one additional question came in. So Teladoc is the same price as a regular doctor's visit? That is correct. If you have the PPO plan, that will be $25. If you select the copay plan, it will be a 30% Co-insurance after your deductible. Got it. All right, that's it for now. Thank you. Yep. So, Ms. Jasmine, can you stop sharing? Now, let's see if I can get back to my slides.
Jasmine? Yes, ma'am. Did it stop sharing for you? Um, I see a camera. Can you, do you guys see? I, I see a camera with a line through it. We just see you now, Wanda. You see me? Yes. Okay, so let me share. Okay. All right, so that was Blue Cross Blue Shield. Are you guys seeing my slides okay now? Madison, are we good? Yes, we're good. Okay. So now let's talk about the county's dental plans. Our dental plan is administered by Cigna and the county has two plan choices for employees, a standard plan and an enhanced plan. The standard plan has a calendar year maximum of $1,000 per individual coverage. There is a $75 deductible for individual coverage and $225 for family coverage. Orthodontic coverage is not available with the standard plan. The enhanced plan has a calendar year max of $1,500 for individual coverage a deductible of $50 for individual and a $150 deductible for family coverage. Orthodontic coverage is available with a lifetime maximum of $1,500 per individual. And just to note, orthodontic coverage is available for dependent children under the age of 19. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Beth Barnes with Cigna to provide additional details regarding our dental plans with Cigna. And after she's finished presenting, she will entertain any questions that you might have. Beth? Yep, so Wanda, if you'll stop sharing, I can start sharing my presentation. Perfect, thank you. All right. Perfect. Um, all right, great. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to spend um, a few minutes going over how to locate an in-network business, business and some other programs and services that's available to you through Mecklenburg County. What I'm going to go over today is available um, today and will also be available come January 1, 2022. With Mecklenburg County's dental plans, you can choose to see a dentist that is in Cigna's network or not, you have the freedom of choice. However, if you do choose to see a dentist that is in the network, you can save money for your dental services, just like your medical plan. To locate a dentist in Cigna's network, you can search for dentists multiple ways. Number one, if you do not have dental coverage through the county today, you can search online at Cigna.com to find a Cigna dentist. So that's the first way. Your second option, sorry, computer issues, um, is if you do have Cigna dental coverage today, you can access our member portal through mycigna.com to locate an in-network dentist. Good news is that 90% of the county's population is actually already using MySigna. So I'm hoping that most of you that's attending today's presentation is familiar in using our portal. And the third way is you can give us a call at 1-800-SIGNA-24 when you need us. We are on the clock for you 24-7, 365 when you need us. So regardless of holidays, we are open and you will be able to speak to a live person. My Signal also offers convenient tools to help you estimate, plan, and budget your dental cost. You'll find cost estimates for dental treatments and procedures, 
based on your plan information and dentist contracted rates. And you'll be able to compare what it costs when you visit an in-network dentist versus an out-of-network dentist. Cigna Dental Oral Health Integration Program. This is a program that reimburses out-of-pocket costs for specific dental services used to treat or help prevent gum disease and tooth decay. The program is for people with certain medical conditions that may be impacted by dental care. There is no additional cost for the program. And if you qualify, you get reimbursed for out-of-pocket costs for certain dental procedures. To give you an idea of some of the certain dental procedures that fall under the oral health integration program, some of those are heart disease, diabetes, stroke, um, lupus, Huntington's disease, maternity, chronic kidney disease, just to name a few. Cigna Dental Virtual Care. While we recommend that you contact your dentist first to see if they can provide virtual care, we recognize that this may not always be possible. Teledentist connects you with a licensed dentist who through a video call can help address urgent dental situations like toothaches, infection, swelling, bleeding, and much more. They can also prescribe medication to be filled at your local pharmacy if necessary. And virtual care consults are processed as in-network claims and have no copay or co-insurance costs, but it does apply to the county's plan annual maximum. Again, this is available to you all today. It will be available again starting January 1, 2022. And then rounding it out is Cigna's Healthy Rewards Programs. The Healthy Rewards Program is was where Cigna dental members have access to discounts on a full range of health and wellness programs and services often not covered by traditional insurance plans. Programs include weight and nutrition management, fitness, tobacco cessation, vision and hearing care, vitamins, health and wellness products, anti-cavity products, and healthy lifestyle products. Any questions about your dental plan? All right. So one question I was having trouble coming off mute. Um, one question, is there any waiting period and is there any coverage for implants? So waiting periods, I don't. I'll take that one. Go for it, Wanda. There is a 30 day waiting period for new hires, for new hires. Perfect. Um, for implants, let me... Um, let me take a look really quick. Typically, I believe implants are typically excluded. I'm, I'm checking both benefit summaries, so just bear with me just a second. Um, it is excluded from the standard plan. Implants are also excluded from the enhanced plan as well. But do you remember that if you enroll in flexible spending account or if you're in the HSA plan, you can use those dollars to pay for those dental services. Okay. Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. Um, I don't see any uh, additional questions at this time. Oh, let's see, one came in. Is oral surgery included in the standard plan? It is covered in the standard plan. Um, it falls under class two basic services. So you have to meet your dental deductible first, and then you're paying 30% of those eligible charges if you're staying in network. If you go out of network, you're paying 50% of those eligible charges, again, up to your dental calendar, your maximum, which is $1,000.
Let's see, can you speak on the reimbursement process for the integration program? Yeah, so the dental oral health integration program, let me get back to this slide here. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. So if you think you may qualify this for this program, give Cigna a call at 1-800-CIGNA-24. From there, our customer service reps will walk you through um, and will review how to, how to submit the claim and get a reimbursement by mailing it in. Um, it usually takes about um, 30 days. Um, either you can send it in to us or your dentist's office can send in the claim to us for the reimbursement. So I would say the easiest way is simply just give customer service a call. We can walk you through the program and let you know, A, if you qualify for the program and then what's needed from there. So give Cigna a call at 1-800-CIGNA-24. So quick, quick highlight, you would go to your dentist and pay, pay, the, pay for the services for the covered treatment. And then your dentist, if your dentist is in the Cigna network, they'll send a claim for reimbursement. Um, and if the dentist is not in the Cigna network, you might need to submit the claim. Again, you call customer service, we can assist you with that and walk you through the process. And then the last step is we'll review the claim and then mail the reimbursements for those eligible dental services. And with this program, is there an additional charge? There is not an additional charge, no. Okay. Let's see, our next question, where can I find Cigna Healthy Rewards? Uh, go out to mysigna.com or the MySigna mobile app so you can access your Healthy Rewards program through MySigna. Okay, and let's see, do we have anything that shows the levels and percentages for, co for covered items based on each plan? We, um, we have mailed, or is it being mailed today? But employees will be getting an open enrollment guide in the US mail. Um, so be looking for that, that has a breakdown of the um, the categories and coverage for all of our plans for the medical, dental, and vision, along with the rates. So you can get that. Um, you can look at it through the open enrollment guide, but it is also available on MechWeb. I believe um, if it's not already out there, it should be available on MechWeb by the end of this week. So don't quote me on it. It might be the end of this week before it's out there on MechWeb. And that is the end of the questions for now. Perfect. Wanda, I'm gonna stop sharing and turn it back over to you. Okay, I've stopped sharing. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, so moving on. Vision. As I mentioned earlier, we are switching carriers beginning January 1 of 2022 and our new partner is IMED. The county will continue or still offer um, two plans for consideration. We have an enhanced plan and a standard plan. Both plans have a zero copay to an in-network provider and $180 frame allowance. Although both plans are similar, there are some differences. And so at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Brian Boos from IMED. Brian will share additional information regarding the county's vision plans with IMED. Um, after he's done presenting, you'll have an opportunity to ask him questions related to the plans. Brian? Hello again. Let me see if I can share my screen. Do I need to stop sharing, Brian? Uh, you tell me here, hold on. I wanna share sound and this. Can you see Brian. me? Are you able to see that? We are, but um, yeah, if you go to present mode, yes, we can see it. Perfect, all right. Well, um, nice to speak with everyone today. Again, I'm Brian from IMED. And we want to talk a little bit about the vision benefits that are available 
uh, starting 1 1 22. I do have a uh, short video here just to kind of introduce us and answer the main question, which is, you know, should you enroll in vision benefits? Um, some folks may say, I don't, I don't need glasses. I don't see a reason why I would enroll in a vision plan. Uh, let me see if I can get this video to work for you. And Madison, please let me know if you can't hear it once it starts. Should you enroll in vision benefits? Grandma might say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We love grandma, but even age old wisdom like this could use an update. With iMed, good things come to those who don't wait. Vision benefits help pay for eye exams, something every pair of eyes could use, even if you don't think you need glasses. An apple a day may keep the doctor away, but an eye exam each year can help spot signs of diabetes, high blood pressure, and other health problems. Unlike what you've heard, you can always get what you want. With iMed, you can choose any frame or brand, and your favorite doctor is probably already in our network. When you enroll in iMed, a penny saved is several dollars earned. Member discounts and savings on vision-related products and services like LASIK give you more buying power. So in this case, less really is more. We believe nothing worthwhile is easy, except using iMed. We'll hook you up with everything you need, a cost estimator, provider locator, members app, and more. You won't even have to file a claim when you see an in-network doctor. We do it for you. That's right. No pain, lots of gain. There's a lot of wisdom in having vision benefits. So check yes for iMed and experience these benefits for yourself. After all, seeing is believing. Great. Um, so let me talk about a few more details then. Um, one of the things you heard in that video uh, is a lot of savings opportunities for members. So we want to focus on the value of the vision plan. On average, members can save 71% off the retail prices of eyeglasses as well as exams. Uh, there's over 187 provider locations to choose from. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, in the Charlotte area specifically, we've obviously got a national network, but for the most folks on this call, you'll be accessing those right there locally. Um, and then we have a, lots of additional discounts, which I'm going to, to speak to. Um, on the right-hand side of this slide, we talk us, uh, just a reminder on the wellness features of a, a vision plan like this, specifically getting an eye exam. As the video referenced, there's lots of chronic conditions that can be identified from, uh, from an eye exam. Uh, so that's a great reason to at least get an eye exam. And there's lots of things you can do to protect your eyes from digital eye strain, um, blue light protection, things along those lines. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in detail now. Um, Wanda had mentioned the plan design. I'm going to summarize it again. Here's the standard plan offering. There's two options, the standard and enhanced plan. Uh, on the standard plan, you'll see a $0 copay to get an eye exam every 12 months. And so I'd strongly encourage everyone uh, when they sign up for vision plan, make sure you're getting your eye exam to uh, identify any other chronic conditions that might be out there in addition to obviously getting your updated prescription. Uh, on the material side, there's $180 frame allowance that's available every 24 months. There's also a $20 lens copay plus fixed pricing on variable lens options, and that's available every 12 months. And then there's a $150 contact lens allowance with coverage for fit and, fit and follow up exams every 12 months as well. So that is the main standard plan. I'm going to show you the enhanced plan and there's not really much of a difference other than that middle column, which is $0 lens copay plus numerous fully covered lenses and lens options that are available every 12 months. Everything else remains the same. There is a lot of value in that enhanced plan because someone like myself who wears progressive lenses uh, that can get very pricey, those are all covered in full. Um, so that's, those are the nice enhancements that you'll see that are available under that enhanced plan. A few more benefit basics that I wanted to call out. Uh, the frequency of use of these uh, benefits is on a plan year, or in this case, a calendar year basis. So you do not need to wait a full 12 months from your last date of service to use your vision benefits again. Um, 
I will uh, mention as well, since we are taking over the program uh, on January 1st on a startup basis, everyone's benefit cycles will reset on January 1st, regardless of what the old plan that you were enrolled in. So I saw that as a question out there. I wanted to make sure that I, I called that to your attention. In another nice feature uh, with the IMED plan, which is a different than you had before, was you're allowed to use your contacts um, in lieu of lenses only. So what that means is you're entitled to a full pair of glasses every year, excuse me, a full pair of glasses, meaning the frame and lenses, or the contacts and frames, which you would then use, or excuse me, receive a 20% discount on the lenses that actually go into the frames. I do want to remind you that the frame frequency on your plan is every other plan year. So you do not get a pair of glasses every single year. A good way to think of this is the plan covers lenses on an annual basis, whether you want those lenses to sit right on your eyeball in the, fat, in the form of a contact, or you want those lenses to go inside of your frames. That's the good way to look at that. Now, when it comes to finding a network provider, um, a couple of things that the first and foremost is when you, and we're gonna talk about doing a, a provider search in a minute, is that you're using the IMED Insight Network. If you go to our website, you're going to see several choices. Make sure you choose the Insight Network. And then you're gonna see that you have lots of options. We have both independent providers as well as some national retailers and local retailers, which you can see there. The national retailers would be like a Lens Crafters, a Pearl Vision, a Target Optical. Some of those local retailers you might see is an, a My Eye Doctor, America's Best or Clarkson Eye Care. You can see the number of locations and providers that we have in the greater Charlotte area alone. So lots of, uh, of options to choose from. Plus those that like to shop online, you'll see that we have five different online options at Lens Crafters, Target Optical, Ray-Ban, Glasses.com, or Contacts Direct. I mentioned uh, how to find a doctor here. Um, you'll use our provider locator. Um, and you'll want to make sure you choose the Insight Network. You can uh, download and use our mobile app um, to access uh, a provider locator, or you can also use it on the member website, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, and you'll want to check the listing of the closest eye doctors um, that'll be available in your welcome kit as well. So everyone that enrolls in the IMED Vision Plan um, before the effective date, you'll receive a little envelope in the mail. It's your welcome kit. Included in that will be two ID cards, as well as a listing of the four closest independent and four closest retail providers to your home residence. And then you'll also find some other helpful tips in there, including your benefit summary and some wellness tips. So be on the lookout for that. Some additional savings that are part of your vision plan. Uh, I just referenced some of them here. What you're really gonna to wanna to do is look at in your mobile app. You'll be able to see uh, special offers that have additional discounts. These are the, some of the most common ones here. 40% off an additional pair of glasses. So if you've already exhausted your benefits, maybe your child lost their glasses and they knew, need a new, another pair, you'll get a 40% discount off the entire pair of glasses. You, we have discounts for LASIK, you'll see that there. Uh, pretty much anything that's not covered under the specific plan design, you're going to get a 20% uh, discount off, um, off of those services, including the balance off of any frame overage. Uh, there'll be a discount off of the conventional contact lenses of 15%. And um, over on the far right-hand side, you'll see hearing aids, uh, hearing exams, and discount pricing on hearing aids that are available. So even though this is a vision plan, we like to throw in some savings on the, on the hearing side as well. And lastly, just wanna talk about the member tools. I mentioned before, we've got a, a mobile app as well as the member website. These are great tools to have available. Make sure you're accessing those before you go out and uh, visit your provider, just to make sure you're taking advantage of any additional uh, discounts that might be out there. Uh, think of it as Groupons. If any of you use Groupons, they're on your, uh, available on the website or on your phone, but you actually would have to show those coupon codes to the provider to get those additional discounts that are above and beyond the normal plan design. You can also use the mobile app to store your prescription, which is always helpful, set exam reminders, or maybe reminders on when it's time to change your contact lenses, 
lots of good things that are out there on, uh, on the member tools. Okay, with that, um, I'm open to any questions there might be out there on, on the new vision plan. Sure, so we have just a few. Um, is there a difference in coverage if exam is completed by an optometrist or ophthalmologist? Yeah, really good question. There is not. The exam that is covered is a full service comprehensive exam. Most of you, um, if you see an ophthalmologist, you may think that's a higher level doctor. Um, I can tell you right now, very few ophthalmologists actually do routine eye care. If you go with, walk into an ophthalmologist's office, it's likely that you'll be getting serviced by an optometrist instead for the routine vision care. The ophthalmologists mainly uh, are there for the more comprehensive services and surgery uh, procedures on eyes, which are covered under your medical plan and not your vision plan. But uh, if you do happen to go to that ophthalmologist, it will be covered and they provide the same level of service for a routine eye, uh, eye exam. Next question, for the standard or enhanced vision plan, are lenses and or frames and fitting fees covered for those with astigmatism? In the past, those were not covered and the individual had to pay an extra fitting fee. The only extra fitting fee on an eye exam would be for contact lenses, not for a pair of glasses. I personally have astigmatism as well. And there's no additional charges that uh, come into play when I'm getting an eye exam for my glasses. Um, but there is that additional fitting fee that's involved in contacts, whether you have astigmatism or not. The next question, I didn't see vision works listed under participating vision providers. Are they excluded? Vision work works is not uh, an IMED in-network provider. If someone was dead set and wanting to go to a VisionWorks provider, you could certainly do so and receive the out-of-network level of benefits. But there are plenty of other alternatives available uh, aside from them. Okay. Next question. Since the plan is changing and I received frames this year, would new frames, if I wanted or needed them, be available next year? Yes, as I mentioned, um, on the, the eligibility will reset come January 1st. So uh, it's kind of an extra bonus by changing carriers right now. If anybody just had their frames and, uh, and glasses just this past year, you'll be able to start again, start new again come January 1st. Okay, our next question, do either of the plans include medically necessary contacts such as sclera lenses? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yes, medically necessary um, contacts are covered in full um, on the plan design. And let me just make sure it's on both plans. Yes, it is. Uh, those all do require a specific authorization, obviously, from the provider. But uh, yes, those are covered in full. Our next question, does the plan cover the cost for the exam for contact lens fitting? There's actually um, a, uh, a copay required up to $40. So the you member is responsible up to $40 for that fit and follow-up coverage. If, it, if the charge is beyond $40, then that is waived. So your maximum cost is $40. Okay. Our next question, is Walmart considered one of the providers? Um, Walmart, uh, let me back up one second. I wanted to correct. correct. I just noticed a, a little bit of different. This I cited the standard plan. The fit and follow-up coverage is a $20 copay is that is all that's required for a standard fit and follow and then uh, for a premium fit and follow so some premium level of contacts it still is a twenty dollar copay and you get a ten percent discount off the balance up to that forty dollars so again the forty dollars would be the max um, but i did want to clarify that so sorry about that uh, the question was walmart um, are they a covered provider uh, wow i should know that Wanda, do you remember if we included Walmart or not? I do not remember, Brian. I'm so sorry. Um, it's a, Typically, they are not a covered provider, and I'm pretty sure they were not here as well. I will do, put that as a follow-up item. Um, we do have some Walmarts. There are actually 35 Walmarts covered in the state of North Carolina as an in-network provider, but that is not all Walmarts because Walmart actually has a corporate 
um, locations for their vision center, as well as uh, vision centers that are serviced by a third party. All of those third party Walmart eye centers are in network. Um, I just need to find out if we made uh, any specific changes to include the corporate ones as well. But North Carolina, usually we do not because North Carolina has so many Walmarts already in network, but I will take that as a, uh, as a follow-up item. And I'll look at that before we end this call today. Thank you, Brian. Let's see, in our next question, which is probably our last, are all progressive lenses covered under the premium plan? Yes, they are. We have all coverages. There's no formularies or limitations on progressive lenses under that enhanced plan. Let's see, we did have one additional. Are Sam's Club and BJ's in network? Uh, no, they're not. All right, that looks like our last question. Okay, let me look into the Walmart one and I'll have that towards the end of the call. Sounds good. Thank you, Brian. So if you can stop sharing, we'll continue. I will stop sharing if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> uh, let me figure out how to stop sharing. Stop share. There you go. All right. Okay. Good stuff. So now let's talk about the Marathon Health. Marathon Health, as some of you already know, um, is an independent provider of primary care clinics. They have several near site locations and offer services such as primary care, biometric screening, chronic condition treatment, lab work, personal health coaching, just to name a few. As I said, most of you are probably familiar with the Marathon Health Clinic, but there may be some of you that are not. So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Jenna Ewing. She's with Marathon and she's here to share some information about the clinic and the services. Hi, Jenna. Hey, good morning. Thanks, Wanda. Um, as Wanda mentioned, I'm Jenny Ewing. Um, I have a pre-recorded video here that I will play. I'll share my screen just regarding the Marathon Health Benefit. Um, just to call out ahead of time, um, we were previously known as Our Health. It's the same organization, just a different name. Um, so services will stay the same for 2022. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Because this is recorded, I can answer as we go um, or at the end, obviously, if there's time, we can go from there. So I'll go ahead and screen, play this. Um, it's kind of a high level overview. So if there's also some personal questions or anything with PHI um, or anything of that nature, you can always reach out to our member relations team, which um, that information is on our website and at the end of this slide deck. Um, you can ask just to shoot uh, me, Jenny Ewing, a message, and they'll, they'll send that message over to me, and I can reach out to you directly, or um, we can have one of our clinicians also reach out should it be something specific to your personal health um, or someone in your family. So with that, I'll go ahead and share my screen. I'll mute myself here, um, and just let me know. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear it. We'll go from here. My name is Jenna Ewing, and I am the client advocate with Marathon Health in the Charlotte Network. The purpose of this presentation is to give you a better understanding of who Marathon Health is and how we can help serve you and your family. Marathon Health is a primary care physician's office with six health center locations in the Charlotte metro area. Our six health centers range in hours from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. All of our centers are by appointment only to reduce wait times. We see members on the benefits plan in your family ages three and up. So that includes your spouse or dependents. The six health centers are located around the 485 loop in Charlotte. Our newest health center location we opened in Matthews, North Carolina in March of 2020. As mentioned before, all of our health centers operate Monday through Friday, with the exception of our North Lake location open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. 
you have access to all six of these health centers. So should you want to get labs done at one of our health center locations, but see a provider at another, you may go to any of the six health centers included in this network. The design of this model was so you could have access to care close to home and work. This here is a service overview. The purpose of this slide is to give you a better understanding of what Marathon Health can do for you and your family. We operate as a primary care physician's office, and what that means is we can do your annual routine physicals if you are 16 and up, we can treat you for acute and preventive needs, so if you get sick or if you would like your chronic disease managed with us, that includes high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid issues. We also have a dedicated referral team that can help connect you with somebody in network if it's something that we can't handle at the health center level, such as a sleep study or a dermatological referral. We do see children age three and up on the medical plan. We see children for acute needs, such as cuts, bumps, bruises, sprains, or if they're sick and have an ear infection. The one caveat to that is we see children for camp and sports physicals. Our wellness services that are included with your Marathon Health access is health coaching and behavioral health needs. All behavioral health services as well as health coaching services are free at no cost to you. This can be one-on-one -on -one health coaching or group wellness programming. We have an on-site laboratory at each of our six health center locations. Labs are free at no cost to the patient. We also have an on-site dispensary and a home med pharmacy. The on-site dispensary is used for acute medications when you are sick or need something at the time of the appointment. Our home med delivery service is where we leverage this pharmacy for chronic care medications, such as thyroid medications or blood pressure medications. In 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Marathon Health transitioned their model of care to not only being telephonic and in-person, but launched virtual care. As a patient of Marathon Health, you now have access to our providers virtually, telephonically, or in-person. The fifth mark on this slide is Marathon Health Portal. The portal is where you can communicate with our ambassadors, our clinical team members, you can schedule appointments, as well as access test and lab results. The way that our model is set up is by appointment only, and those appointments are either 40 minutes, 30 minutes, or 20 minute appointment types. The 40 minute appointments are typically for new patients to establish care. This also is included in our annual physicals. A 30 minute appointment is gonna be if you are a sick patient and it's a little bit more complex or if you're new and not feeling well. The 20 minute appointment is for routine care for established patients. So for those that are established with us, we know your medical history, your current medication regimen, and you're just not feeling good. Or if it's just a check-in on your chronic care management, we're labs are needed and just to touch base with one of our providers on how you're doing. As I mentioned before, we do have medications on site as well as a home med delivery system. We encourage patients that do not have a primary care or a provider that they see in the network to leverage Marathon Health as their primary care of choice. We can not only manage the current medications that you're on, but do routine lab work and your annual physical for preventive reasons at no cost to you, regardless of the plan that you're on. All preventive services are free. We do have an on-site laboratory at our six health center locations. Those labs are at no cost to you and anybody that is on the plan. Sometimes we have patients that have an established primary care in the network and we encourage that. We're not here to replace your primary care if you have one, but we are here to be one if you need one. We sometimes have patients that use us strictly for our labs only. Let's just say that you have a specialty doctor such as a cardiologist and you have to get labs every three to six months. 
you can have that specialty doctor fax Marathon Health that lab order, and we can draw those labs for you on that specific cadence. We would then send the results of those labs back to your specialty doctor, and there would be no fee for you as the patient. As I mentioned before, we do have a dedicated referral team to the Marathon Health Charlotte network. What this means is if you were to come see one of our providers and you were having issues with sleep or you had a mammogram up or colonoscopy that was due, or let's just say your child fell at school and you're uncertain if they need an x-ray or not, you can schedule an appointment with one of our Marathon Health providers that can assess the current situation and the need for the referral, and they would connect you with our referral team. Our referral team will take your medical insurance, put it through our system, and reach out to you within a 24 to 48 hour timeline, depending on the need. They would then schedule that appointment for you and follow up with the results to take the heavy lifting off the patient. Health coaching and behavioral health services are a part of the Marathon Health Benefit. We have three dedicated health coaches in the Charlotte network that consist of a certified diabetic educator that is a registered dietitian, an exercise physiologist, and a CHES certified health coach that is passionate about spiritual and behavioral health. We also have a team of four behavioral health clinicians, varying from licensed professional counselors to licensed clinical social workers. All health coaching and behavioral health appointments are free at no cost to the member. So how do I schedule an appointment with Marathon Health? You can call our centralized scheduling team, our member relations team, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. or Saturday mornings. They can help set up an appointment for you. You can scan the QR code below. You also can register online at member.rhealth.org and create a profile where you can go into the member portal and self-schedule an appointment that way. We appreciate your time in listening to our presentation. If at any point you have any questions about Marathon Health and what we can do for you and your family, feel free to reach out to our member relations team or go to marathonhealth.com and visit us, check us out. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Wanda, you're still muted. Um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, thank you, Jenna. I appreciate that. I was um, just asking, do we have any questions for Jenna? Madison? We do have, it looks like two. Is behavioral coaching free for kids as well, ages five through 10? So currently our behavioral health model is set up for patients 18 plus. Um, but since we've hired and onboarded um, an additional behavioral health person, um, we'll hopefully have communications going out within the next month or so that we are moving age parameter down to 12. Um, there are some caveats to that where if you wanted family counseling um, and your child happened to be under the age of 18, at least for right now, or under the age of 12 within a month or so, once you're established with our behavioral health member, that would be something that you could talk about with them um, regarding bringing your child in and having them do one-on-one -on -one or family counseling. Um, so if you were to look at our website right now, it says 18 plus, but we are lowering that age within the next month to 12. And currently, if you were to try to schedule a behavioral health appointment with Marathon, you would have to get a provider referral first, um, but we're removing that as well. Um, since hiring the new member, to our team because we want to open up access. So that way you can self-refer. Um, so I'll be working alongside Wanda and Maria when it comes time to change those parameters, as I mentioned in the next month. So um, once we do lower that age bracket and you can self-schedule with behavioral health, um, you, you will be notified via email and from your HR team. Perfect. Our next question is, does Marathon Health offer allergy medications free of charge for patients? That's a good question. Um, we, so we do, depending on the plan that you're on. So if you are on 
Monroe County's PPO plan, um, all services at Marathon Health are free, and that includes all medications, whether they're acute or preventive. Um, if you are on Mecklenburg County's high deductible plan, the HSA plan, um, allergy meds typically fall under um, the acute category, even though in Charlotte, oftentimes people use them for chronic needs. Um, but for IRS guidelines, um, they are a chargeable medication, we call that. So for Mecklenburg County, the charge per allergy med for, let's just say, like a Flonase would be $4. Um, so it's still much less expensive than going out into um, kind of the community if you were to buy Flonase with your um, HSA or FSA card um, at like a local pharmacy, you can get it from us uh, for a lower cost. So just depending on plan would be for those acute meds um, to answer for allergies. Okay. I don't see any additional questions at this time. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. Moving on. Okay, so we're down home stretch, guys. So hang in there with me for a little, a little longer. Um, let's talk about the county's supplemental benefits, or as some people refer to them as voluntary benefits. Mecklenburg County offers employees cancer, accident, medical bridge, critical illness, and pet insurance as voluntary benefits. And so what that means is that the benefits are 100% paid or contributed by the employee. These benefits pay in addition to your insurance should you qualify and, are, and they are paid directly to you. The benefits are portable and pre-tax with the exception of nationwide pet insurance. That is a post-tax benefit. Hmm. Unlike the core benefits, coverage will remain the same unless you make a change to your coverage. So keep that in mind. So if you currently have one of these voluntary benefits, you don't have to make a change unless you want to. Few reminders here. Open enrollment is right around the corner. Open enrollment is from November the 8th through November the 19th. So that's a two week window. <clears throat> if you do not enroll or waive coverage in the county's medical dental vision, Flex spending plan during the designated online open enrollment period, you will not have insurance coverage for 2022. So I can't say that enough. I can't emphasize it enough. You must enroll in order to have coverage and you have to do it within that two week window. To complete your benefit elections, log on or log into MyHR, go to the employee self-service link or tile, click on the benefits tile, and then click on benefits enrollment for easy steps. All right, to enroll in the voluntary benefits, those that you see listed here, um, you would need to visit the Pierce Group website. Pierce Group is our third-party broker that manages the voluntary benefits for the county. Um, pet insurance, if you'd like to enroll uh, or change um, your coverage for pet insurance, you would have to visit Nationwide's website. And both sites are listed on the slide. Wanda, you're not sharing your screen. I am not sharing my screen. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. How about now? Can you guys see it good. now? You're good now. Oh, wow. So do I need to go back? I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just rolling right through. <laughs> let, me, let me go back. <clears throat> so um, I was talking about the Pierce Group Voluntary Benefits. Like I said, uh, some people refer to these, as you see on the slide, as supplemental benefits or voluntary benefits. The county offers um, cancer, accident, medical bridge, critical illness, as well as pet insurance. These benefits are 100% employee contributed and 
they pay in addition to your insurance, in, in addition to the core insurance, should you qualify and or pay directly to you. The benefits are portable, meaning you can take them if you decide to separate service from Mecklenburg County, and they're also pre-tax. Unlike core benefits, your core benefits being the medical, dental, and vision, these coverage will remain the same unless you make a change to them. So if you have them and you're not interested in changing them, you don't need to do anything. Open enrollment again is November the 8th through November the 19th. If you do not enroll or waive coverage in the medical dental vision um, plan, during the designated two week open enrollment period, you will not have insurance coverage for 2022. To complete the benefit elections, it's simple. There are four steps. Just log into MyHR, go to employee self-service, click on the benefits tile, and then click on benefits enrollment. The voluntary benefits, to enroll or make the change, you must visit Pierce Group's website. As I said earlier, Pierce Group is the broker that manages the supplemental or voluntary benefits for Mecklenburg County. That is their website that you see on the slide. However, for pet insurance, you would need to go to Nationwide website that listed, that's also listed on the slide. Another good thing to remember during this time is that it's a great opportunity to either enroll or update your deferred comp plan. So that's your 401k, your 457, the North Carolina 529 plan. So this is a great opportunity to review it, make changes, and even enroll. You can make changes anytime throughout the year. So you don't have to do it through open enrollment. You can do it anytime, but it's just a good opportunity to do it during open enrollment as well. All right, here's the exciting part of today's session. Save the best for next to the last. <laughs> We have, for the very first time, we are excited to announce that this year we will have an open enrollment raffle. For those of you that complete your enrollment within that two week window, if you do it early, you have an opportunity to be entered into multiple raffles for a chance to win some really great prizes. There will be drawings on Wednesdays and Thursdays during the two weeks of open enrollment. The first drawing will be held on November the 10th, and we will announce 20 winners. Only those that complete their enrollment by midnight the day before the drawing will be entered into the raffle. So just keep that in mind. You have multiple opportunities to be entered into a raffle and to win possibly some great prizes. This slide is a list of the resources from today's presentation. A lot of information has been shared today, this morning, um, and we know that um, you may not have been able to capture all of it. So this information is also available in your open enrollment guide. So be on the lookout, make sure you check your mail, your US mail, you should get an open enrollment guide in the mail. And last but not least, we have a guest from Work Green, and she is going to present some information around the county's Work Green initiative. I believe she has a short presentation. Rebecca, yes, hey, hey, Wanda, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Is Aaron? It's me. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, do you want me to stop sharing my screen? Uh, yes, please, real quick. Okay. I know we're in the home stretch, so I'm gonna be quick, guys. Um, all right, can everybody see my screen? I have multiple screens happening, so everybody see it? I see it. Awesome, thanks, Wanda. Um, so I'm gonna give a brief overview of Work Green um, and also just show you all where our working resources exist within both MacWeb and um, MacTalent. A quick show of emoji hands. How many people have heard of Work Green? 
Yay, good, I got some, yes, yes, woo, yes, awesome, excellent. So Work Green is our uh, environmentally focused employee engagement and award program. Um, in 2004, the county passed our first environmental leadership policy and we updated that policy within an action plan on March of this year. So the updated plan um, states that uh, the county government should operate in a manner that provides employees with opportunities and incentives to practice environmentally sound behaviors. Um, to register and participate in Work Green, you can access this information via um, uh, the MEC web, which I'll get to in just a second. This icon down here is kind of our go-to for marketing for Work Green. So wherever you see it, that's where you can find more information about Work Green. Um, time off awards can be earned while on the job or outside of work. And how do you earn the time off awards? Well, um, you can earn credit by participating in webinars and courses that are focused on the environment and are housed in mech talent, by participating in in-person activities such as stream cleanups and taking part in environmentally friendly activities in your office, such as a green team. Uh, another quick show of hands. How many people have a green team in their office? I'm just curious. You can do a hand or a real hand or emoji hand with you. It's cool, right on. All right, just curious. Thank you for entertaining that. Um, so 10 earned credits within Work Green equate four hours of PTO and then 20 earned credits equate eight hours of PTO. You can also earn credits via commuting um, to work via alternative transportation, such as bike, bus, light rail, walking or carpooling volunteering with local environmentally focused groups. So that, uh, and I'll, I'll show you what that, what that means within um, the Work Green page. So essentially we as a, a, a group like advertise some different events that are specific to the environment. But if you're volunteering with other groups or participating in other events that aren't necessarily on our list, that's okay. You just have to log that information within MacTalent, uh, MacWeb, excuse me and also watching environmentally focused documentaries online. As I mentioned, 10 earned credits equate four hours of PTO, 20 earned credits equate eight hours of PTO. So this is an, in addition to the current leave that you already get. Um, that leave accrues over the course of a fiscal year. And so you, you are awarded that leave in your bucket um, at the beginning of FY for, for folks that are half the, find your words, Erin, for things that are happening right now in FY22, um, you'll receive that leave in September of FY23. But that leave never goes away. It's, it always exists. It doesn't, it rolls over from year to year to year. So I'm gonna stop share real quick and I'm gonna reshare MechWeb. Um, all right, can everyone see MechWeb? Sweet. So this is our you know, MechWeb SharePoint homepage. If you scroll down to Work Green, you click it, I cannot see my tabs. So, so that's that's exciting. Um, this is our, our Work Green homepage and it's pretty basic. We've got our program overview, find activities, log and track credits. If you uh, go to find activities, <clears throat> that sanction list I told you guys about, and sanctioned is dramatic. Really, it's it's this is a list of events that our own staff are putting on. So it's park and rec folks and folks that are in Louisa. But there, I, I want to emphasize that opportunities to volunteer outside of the workplace are not limited to just this list. Um, so you've got our list of stuff happening right here. And then uh, we are down a staff member. So this is looking a little sparse, apologies for that. I'm hoping to populate um, the streaming opportunities for documentaries for FY22 soon um, within the next week or so. Um, in addition, I wanted to show you how to log your work green credit hours. So what I just did, which I should not have done because now I can't see where I am. Uh, sorry for the multiple tabs and the multiple clicks. But um, to, to track, to log your credits, you can go to log and track credits from the homepage, hit log one more time, and this will take you to a Qualtrics survey. And so uh, for every event that you attend, webinar you attend, um, action you take in your office, green team meeting that you have in your office, um, you have to log that credit within this form to get credit towards time off. Um, you fill out your name, uh, select your department. Please try to use your correct email address. That's how we track folks to ensure that everybody gets credit for what they did. Um, and then once you go to the next page of this survey, you can click whatever kind of opportunity you use to get said credit. And then um, those, this, say you uh, click on community event, 
that'll take you to a field that'll let you fill out what event you attended and how it impacted your environmental, environmentally focused life. Um, I also want to do one other thing, which is uh, Mech Talent, and I hope everybody can still see just as I'm switching tabs really quick. Within Mech Talent, this is where our sustainability focused modules live, and just, this is another way you can get credits. Something that's different for this particular year is um, we're still in a pandemic, like let's, let's call it out, let's be serious, um, and a lot of people aren't necessarily comfortable going to clean a stream with a bunch of strangers. And so one of my commitments for this fiscal year is to get um, enough, create enough modules and enough online opportunities so that any staff member, regardless of their ability to get out of their house, their comfort, their comfort level in getting out of their house, can attain those um, 20 credits 100% online. It's taken a minute because we're down a staff person, but we do have additional options. So we're within Mech Talent right now. If you go into search for training, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm not clicking through it. I don't know how many new folks are here, but I know this can be really overwhelming because we have so many different um, methods to the madness here within the county. And it's, just, um, it's not loading. So just let me try it one more time. <laughs> Um, because I want to show you all how to filter, um, but it's not loading, which is, which is awesome. So, um, if you wanted to search for work green within Mech Talent, there are modules that exist here. Um, right now you can get 10 credits within modules that are live right now. We're working on working that up to 20. So I'm going to start, I talked really fast. And is there any questions I can answer for anybody about work green? Yes, the only questions that I received was how long does it take for the work green items to update on the work green report? Uh, could you be more specific? Like, sorry. I guess each um, work green activity that employees submit. Um, ah. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you submit those credits, we, we get that information in real time, uh, but we don't. Um, I, I can run that report whenever I want, but I don't communicate that to all the users because it's a heck of a lot of data. Um, I normally, if we have, we get to maybe like halfway through the fiscal year and some folks are, are getting towards that 20 credits, I'll reach out to them individually and say, hey, you've got 18 credits. Here's some opportunities that we have that you haven't taken yet to get you to the, that 20 level. Um, but we, I can run those on an as needed basis. The final final report doesn't run until the end of the fiscal year though, that the, that the um, leave count is based on. Got it. Let's see the next question. The individual says it looks like mech talent may be down. They just tried well, going to it. Once I, once I um, stopped sharing my screen, it popped up. So. Okay. <laughs> I think it's just too many programs at once. Okay. Yeah. That looks like the end of questions. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Erin. You. you bet. All right. So, um, can you guys? No, let me make sure I'm sharing. I'm learning. All right. So, that concludes the open enrollment session for this morning. We encourage you to visit MCWeb and take a look at our virtual benefits fair. It is a great tool and provides good information to make sure that you are making the right choice for your family for the 2022 plan year. So this concludes our pres presentation. Do you have any final questions? Hey, Wanda, this is Brian from IMED. Hey, Brian. I did want to just give the answer I didn't have earlier. I researched that and uh, confirmed that the county did a great job of negotiating in Walmart and Sam's Club are both in network providers um, for uh, the county. So I just want to clear, uh, close that loop. Walmart and Sam's Club, not yes. BJ's, not BJ's. Not, not BJ's, not Costco, but Walmart and Sam's Club. Sam's Club is actually owned by Walmart. That's why they're connected together. Okay, great. Thank you, Brian. Mm -hmm. So if there are no more questions, um, that concludes today's presentation. Excuse me? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I have a question. Um, did we discuss? I didn't, didn't remember um, us discussing um, retirement benefits. I know I saw a new retirement provider for 457. Um, would that be an information session on those details of those retirement plans? Okay, yeah. Um, retirement has a, we have slated out within the year, I believe it's quarterly or every other month. Um, retirement session planning and, and information um, for employees to register for. So um, you can check uh, my HR to see when the next retirement planning session is and register for it. I believe it's every other month. But yeah, we, we wouldn't cover that in open enrollment. The great Thank question. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I did receive an additional question in the chat about available um, slots or spots for um, additional sessions. Um, all of our sessions are available within MyHR. Um, and this year I do see that um, there should be plenty of spots. So if you wanted to share with anyone or your department, feel free. Um, the course code, I believe, is MTH052, but it should also be the first um, available course within my HR Learning Center. All right, so it is now 1139. Um, if there are no more questions, Madison, I'm going to ask you to stop recording.